Hey guys, today we're gonna be testing viral TikTok cleaning hacks. But don't worry, I've tested all of these hacks out and they all work. I've only put the best of the best into this video. We are gonna be all over the house today from the kitchen to the bathroom to the bedroom. It's gonna be great. These hacks are made to make your cleaning faster and more effective. So let's get started. Okay, this first hack is about cleaning your stainless steel to make it fingerprint proof. And let me tell you, I have a huge problem with this because I have kids and they constantly touch the front of my refrigerator. But look at this. I've done the hack. I'm going to show you how. I don't know if you can see this, but no fingerprints. Can you tell? It's really good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take vinegar and I just stick it into a spray bottle. You know, I like to clean with this anyway, so it's perfect. And then I've got this microfiber cloth. One of the most important things though when you're cleaning with anything on stainless steel is you want to make sure that you go with the grain. So I'm going to go back and forth with the grain. After I've gotten this all shined up and it's nice and clean, I'm gonna take the magic ingredient, which is the hack, and it's WD-40. So you probably know this, a lot of people use it in their cars, and so you take that and you go ahead and you apply it to your refrigerator, just like you would any other stainless steel cleaning product, and then again, you polish it and you go in the direction of the grain. I did this and then I let it, I tested it and had it sit for a couple of days. My fridge is still going strong. It is still fingerprint free. This is a definite TikTok hack to try. It works really well, especially if you have kids or just fingerprints in general that get all over your stainless steel. I find stainless steels really hard to keep clean. This next hack is for that little crack in between your oven and your counter space. So what I do is I take a paper towel and I get it wet and then I kind of squeeze it out and I'm gonna roll it around a butter knife. In all fairness, I have never done this hack before. I wasn't sure what to expect, but oh my God, wait until you see this. So you wrap that around and then you go ahead and you stick the knife into that crack. You can kind of see all of the crumbs and things that I have in there. Yeah, this is really neglected. Go ahead and stick it in and just pull it through. I could already tell it was working. It was really just sticking in there. Oh my God, you need to try this hack. I don't think you need to do it all the time, but wow, I was shocked at how much stuff was in between that space. I'm gonna do the other side here. This side wasn't as bad, but I mean, come on, it was really bad. But I have to say the verdict on this hack it is awesome. It worked so well. Uh, even this morning, I did this last night, and even this morning, I'm still looking at the space in between thinking, wow, how clean it looks. So highly recommend this hack for sure. So you know when you're vacuuming and you just get like this burst of vacuum cleaner smell in your face? So this TikTok hack involves taking out your filter of your vacuum cleaner and then spraying it with an air freshener. I used Febreze. Now, every time you vacuum, you'll get a fresh, clean smell. When your oven glass looks dirty, it could make your entire oven seem dirty. I think one of the best things to do in your kitchen is to clean your oven glass and make it look fresh and clean. So I've got this scouring stick and we're gonna try this hack. You may have seen my other video where I use this scouring stick in the toilet, but today we're gonna use it in the oven to clean the oven glass. So it's really tiny because I've already used it in three toilets, but we're gonna wet it down. That's what you do for the first step. And then we're gonna use it on the sort of buildup, food buildup, carbon buildup, whatever this is. This is what the scouring stick says it's for. You know, it's for a lot of different things like porcelain and whatnot, but you can also use it in your oven. So I have to say this hack is working. I'm, I'm cleaning, I don't know if you, hopefully you can see this, but I'm cleaning and stuff is coming off. It doesn't scratch your oven glass or anything like that. This is uh, a pumice stone. It's made from volcanic rock. It's actually like an old school cleaning material. Not a lot of people use it today, but I really love it for the toilets. And you can see here, it does work. What I thought after using this is it was fine, but I actually have a better hack that I think works better and is a lot easier than using this pumice stone. So what that is, is you paint on a mixture of like half baking soda and half water, and then you let it sit. 
I recommend letting it sit for like an hour and you just put this all over your glass. When you're cleaning your kitchen, just go ahead, paint it on, put it on, let it sit. And then when you're done cleaning your kitchen, you can go back and wipe this off. So just go in after it's sat for a while and then take a cloth and wipe it away. This totally gets all of the grime and the grease. This completely takes it off. And verdict on this hack is that the pumice stone works, but I think the baking soda hack is way better. Just a quick little break. If you're liking this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe. This next hack is to clean the inside of your microwave. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam it. So I put a cup of vinegar in and then I let it run in there for two minutes. And what that does is it loosens up all of the grime and everything that's inside of the microwave. When it's ready, I take a microfiber cloth and you don't even have to get it wet. You just go ahead and you dry it out. You will notice that the inside of the microwave is a little bit wet. Everything easily just wipes out. It's such a great hack. Okay, and then you're gonna take that same cup and you're just gonna stick it inside of your dishwasher upright on the top row. And you can run this either alone or you can run it with your dishes. This will completely clean the inside of your dishwasher. My next hack is to banish refrigerator smells. So TikTok says you can take used coffee grounds and put them into a jar and then these will get rid of the bad smell in your refrigerator. So I tried it, I put them in here. You can put a top with some holes into the jar, but I just left it like this and I checked the next morning, my fridge smells great. It doesn't smell like coffee and I think it works really well. You know how when you open up your dishwasher after it's run and everything is a little bit wet still, especially on the tops of glasses? So the TikTok hack is when your dishwasher, before it goes into the dry mode, you stick a towel over the edge of it and that will apparently absorb all of the water. I tried it and it did work. The only thing I have to say about this hack is I usually run my dishwasher when I'm sleeping, so I'm not really gonna be awake to try it, but if I am awake, I would do this hack. I think it was good. Next is for the garbage disposal. If you've watched my videos, you know I already do this hack. I love it. You basically take baking powder and pour it all into your drain, use a good amount, and then add vinegar. I know that the two ingredients counteract each other, but what happens here is you're kind of making like a lot of bubbles and a volcano, and it's really getting in to where you can't reach, and it's scrubbing it all up. Let it bubble for is, until it stops, and then the kicker is you need to fill it with ice cubes. So then you add a bunch of ice cubes, just go ahead and use your hand, stick them down that drain, get them all nice and in there, and then you're gonna to wanna to run the cold water and run the garbage disposal at the same time. That will get rid of any smells. I do this probably every month or any time really that the garbage disposal is smelling. I think this hack is great. Now we're moving on to a grout cleaning hack. This one is a little bit time or labor intensive, but essentially you're gonna mix baking soda and hydrogen peroxide together and you're going to make it into a paste you kind of eyeball it. I think I maybe used half a cup of baking soda and a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide. And I went and made it into a paste and then you can use this to clean your grout. I usually like to apply this with a toothbrush. The baking soda is a mild abrasive and it's a good cleaner. And then the hydrogen peroxide is actually like a bleaching or like whitening agent. So it helps to get that original color back to your grout. Then you go ahead and you apply this to your grout lines. It does take a long time if you have small tile like I do. You know, I really like tile and showers, but it is such a pain to clean. You let it sit for a little bit, and then what I did is I just used a big deck brush, scrubbed it up, and rinsed it off. And the verdict on this one, it definitely worked. This next hack is a little bit weird, but it is for your bathroom mirrors. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're first going to wanna to use just your favorite glass cleaner and get your bathroom mirrors all shined up. Then the next thing that you're gonna do, and this is the hack and the secret ingredient, you're going to apply, this sounds strange, but it's shaving foam. So this is my husband's, you can see I fumbled with the cap a little bit here. I obviously don't really know how to use this, but once I figured it out, you just put a little amount. I think I used too much. 
you're going to go ahead and you're going to apply this to your mirror. And what this is going to do is it repels dirt and dust and it also doesn't get your mirror all foggy when you take like a shower. So it somehow just repels all of the water vapor and and prevents the fogginess. I did this last night, I have to say. So far, so good. It's looking really clean. The mirror looks nice and clean. And my husband took a shower and it didn't get as foggy as it usually does. So I do think this is a great hack. I would totally recommend trying it. Probably use less shaving cream than I did, but this one is a good one to try. Now, this is for your blinds. I find blinds really annoying to clean, but the hack here is to take an old athletic sock. I guess these are made of cotton. They have really good loops for collecting dust and then you spray the sock with whatever cleaner you like to use, you know, depending on the material of your blinds, put the sock on your hand and then just go to town. You can kind of grab with your hand, kind of clamp around each blind. And I don't know, I thought it worked really well. I actually have been using this hack for quite some okay, time. So it's a good one. Cleaning. So you know you're not supposed to put these in the dishwasher, right? Because they will just crack and break. So I just wash them in soap and water after I'm done using them. But I found this hack where you stick them in boiling hot water and then all of the stuff that gets stuck underneath and gets absorbed will actually come out. So let's try it. Okay, I'm just gonna take this pint glass and I'm gonna stick a metal spoon in here. I actually learned this trick when I worked in a restaurant a hundred years ago when they used to put boiling hot water in glasses and they would put a spoon in so that the glass wouldn't break. And then we're gonna take our spoons and stick them in. Alrighty, try to get everything to fit in here. Okay, well if these don't all fit, I'll just take one out. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm gonna take this kettle of hot water and we're gonna pour it in. Let's do it carefully. I'm still a little nervous, I don't wanna crack this glass. Okay, so we're gonna fill this up to the top so that we get the whole part of the spoon in there. And then we're gonna leave it to sit and we'll come back in a few minutes and see how it's going. Okay, well, I feel like my wooden spoons are clean, but now I see some stuff coming off of them a little bit. Okay, I mean, it's still early, but there is definitely, I don't know if you can see this, but there is like definitely a film on top. Okay, listen, this hack, like I do see a film on the top, you see that? But it isn't as dramatic as they would have you to believe online. Like I don't have bits of food and craziness floating around here. I also think letting the spoon sit in hot, hot water could maybe damage the spoons. So this hack is kind of like, I'm on the fence about it. I don't think I would do this. Maybe once a year I might try it just to see like kind of what oily stuff comes off, but I wouldn't do this often. I find cleaning ceiling fans a huge pain in the neck. So a big hack going around TikTok is you take an old pillowcase and then you put the ceiling fan blade into the pillowcase and then put your hand around it and kind of pull the dust off. They say that this works really well because you're essentially just trapping the dust on the inside of the pillowcase. And, you know, I tried it. I think it does work well. I think that it does grab all of the dust. So I, my verdict is this is a great hack. I typically use my Swiffer when I'm dusting my fans. I feel like the Swiffer has really good grabbing properties, but yeah, of course then the dust does fall to the floor. I mean, I clean from top to bottom, it's okay. I can get the dust with a vacuum cleaner after I've kind of pushed it onto the floor or whatever falls down, but for sure, the pillowcase hack is a great one, especially if your fan is like above your bed or anything like that. Thanks for watching. If you want more cleaning tips and tricks, I'm gonna link a playlist up right here. Go ahead and click on this video and I will see you over there.